And tonight there are questions about the engineering and construction of other bridges around the country. And we wanted to know about the safety of the Coronado Bridge and if there are any safety measures in place to prevent a disaster here. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez joins us in studio with what she's learned. Jasmine? Yeah, well tonight I've been speaking with engineers about how the Coronado Bridge compares to Baltimore's Key Bridge. I've learned this specific type of bridge played a major role in what happened last night. Baltimore's Key Bridge collapsed after it was struck by a massive cargo ship. Such a unique set of circumstances and such a tragedy. No one can anticipate such things happening. Engineers say safety is always the priority when building these structures. We as engineers, our job has a lot to do with the safety and well-being of the public. Structural engineer Nehemiah Mabry says the Baltimore Bridge was built in the 1970s and Coronado Bridge was built in the 60s. Structurally, they're very different. He says the Coronado Bridge is a girder bridge, while Baltimore's is a truss arch bridge. Referring to sort of the diagonal parts of the metal and the still above, and then the arch is the shape. They're actually among the strongest freestanding structures I guess one could design. Yet the cargo ship hitting the support structures appeared to snap the bridge in Baltimore. The Structural Engineers Association of San Diego says bridges just aren't built for this type of impact. Like impact from such a big ship is not something that you typically design. Uh, but, uh, you know, the Coronado Bridge, uh, large ships are actually not allowed to sail under it. There are separate shipping channels uh, for those kind of ships. Tonight, I reached out to Caltrans about the Coronado Bridge. I'm told safety is prioritized through rigorous and strict seismic and safety standards. Caltrans has installed fender systems on all major bridges to protect them if they're struck. And all state-owned bridges are inspected to meet the highest national standards. Our, our thoughts and prayers are just with everyone affected, even in, in the least bit. Um, by this, this tragedy out in Baltimore, and uh, I'm pretty sure the authorities and those in charge will, will make the right decisions moving forward. Caltrans also says they plan to review the incident in Maryland and will address their findings to help increase bridge safety in the future.